Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of the shaded region between two interior tangent circles with the horizontal gap is 18, while the vertical gap is 10, as you can see in this figure. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our figure without a shade. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that the center of this larger circle is an A and the center for this smaller circle is B. And moreover, we suppose that the radius of this larger circle is R, the uppercase R. So this larger circle, the radius is uppercase R. And the radius of this smaller circle be the lowercase r. So thus the distance between these two centers A and B is going to be just the difference of this radius uppercase r minus this radius lowercase r. So therefore I can write this a B distance is going to be simply uppercase R minus lowercase R and I am going to call this as an equation number one and in this next steps let's observe this the diameter of this larger circle is going to be this one as you can see and this is going to be 2 times the uppercase R and the diameter of this smaller circle is going to be simply 2 times the lowercase R. Then we can see the diameter of this larger circle equal to the diameter of the smaller circle plus 18. So I can write this one as 2 times R equal to 2R plus 18, isn't it? All right, now we are going to divide across the board by 2 because each and every one is divisible by 2. So that is going to simply give us R equal to the lowercase r plus 9 and I'm going to call this as an equation number 2. And if I move this lowercase r on the left hand side, this become uppercase r minus lowercase r equal to 9. So if we substitute r minus r, this uppercase r minus lowercase r equal to 9 over here, so then uh, this equation number one is simply going to become the a b distance is going to become simply nine and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect points a b and c to get a right triangle a b c let's go ahead and connect this one and we are going to connect this point C to this A and then from C to point B. And here is our much nicer looking diagram and we can see that this CB is our radius lowercase r and this AB distance is 9 as we figured out in our previous step which is 9 and as far as this AC is concerned we know that this whole thing is from this point to this one is a radius uppercase R and since we are looking for this part AC so this is going to be simply it's going to become R minus 10 and one more thing over here, this is R minus 10. I'm going to write it down R minus 10. And here R in our case is equal to lowercase r plus 9. I'm going to replace this uppercase r by lowercase r 
plus 9 and then minus 10 so that is going to become simply lowercase r minus 1 so that means this thing could be replaced by lowercase r minus 1 now let's focus on this triangle ABC again and we know that this triangle is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case in this triangle this longest leg is going to be our c so c is going to be r and i'm going to call this a b as side a and this a c as a side b and here's our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is 9 so this is going to become 9 square plus b in our case is r minus 1 so I'm going to put down r minus 1 square equal to c in our case is r so I'm going to put down r square now let's go ahead and simplify that thing 9 squared is going to become 81 plus we are going to expand this binomial by using this formula a minus b square so we are going to have simply r square minus 2r plus 1 equal to r square and now we can see that r square and r square crosses out on both sides so we are going to have now 82 minus 2r equal to 0 or simply 2r equals to 82 or we divide both side by 2 to isolate r so r turns out to be 41 and if we now plug it in this r equal to 41 in equation number 2 over here this lowercase r is 41 so that means this our uppercase r is going to become simply r equal to 41 plus 9 equals to 50 so thus our lowercase r turns out to be 41 and uppercase r is 50 and here's our final step so the area of this shaded region is going to be the area of this larger circle minus the area of the smaller circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where r is the radius so thus the area of the larger circle is going to be a pi r square where r is the uppercase r minus the area of the smaller circle is going to be pi r square where r is a lowercase so the area of this shaded region turns out to be pi r square minus pi r square so let's go ahead and simplify that thing i'm gonna factor out pi so we got uppercase r square minus lowercase r square let's fill in the blanks now we know lowercase r is 41 and uppercase r is 50 so pi times that is going to become 50 square minus 41 square so that is going to give us pi times 2500 minus 1681 so that is going to give us pi times 819 so thus the area of this shaded region turns out to be 819 pi or if we replace pi by 3.14 then the area is approximately equal to 2571.67 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye